in the criminal justice system, we have two separate but distinct groups of people. The police that investigate the crimes and the prosecutors that prosecute the crimes. These are their stories. Law and Order Detective Game. Now, I don't know if I uh, said the introduction to Law and Order correctly or not, but that's what I remember. Something like that was it says. Um, they have also did a SUV. Uh, SUV. SUV. SVU. They also did a special victims unit of this particular game too. It's basically the same exact game but with the SVU theme. Yeah, the SUV theme. theme. Law and Order Detective Game. Law and Order, one of the most popular and critically acclaimed series in television history, is now a game you can play at home. Players become detectives and compete to solve realistic cases, interview witnesses, interrogate suspects, gather evidence, and collect clues as you try to unravel the case. First player to correctly identify the suspect wins. So it's it's kind of like Clue. Sort of. Uh, it's done by Cardinal Games, which is www.cardinalgames.com. Um... Law and Order, Trademark, blah, blah, blah. I was trying to see if there was a date on this thing. Anyway, let's open the game and find out. Now, this game, you will notice that in this game, it is one of the various things I dislike. There's also a CSI game, by the way, um, and CSI Miami, too. But that's a different franchise on a different decision. Here's one of the things I hate about big box games. Wasted space. All the game is right here. It does not need that big a box. I repeat. All the game is right here. All the game is all of it, rules and everything, are able to fit in my hand <sighs> But anyway, this game's kind of like flu. Here's the instructions. They I can read that. But basically it's kind of like clip. It even has clue cards. Here is the <clears throat> detective notepad. You have your suspects. Just like clue you have six suspects. Our suspects are the business partner, the crooked cop, Ex-con, doorman, gardener, plastic surgeon, and spouse. You have crime notes for your writing weapons, evidence, location list, detective tips right there. Um, it could have been done with a blunt weapon, sharp weapon, or vehicle weapon. Uh, blunt weapons are nightstick, pistol butt, garden shovel, surgical hammer, flower vase. Sharp weapons are letter opener, knife, Pruning shears, scalpel, sculpting tools. Uh, vehicle weapons are luxury car, police cruiser, um, and luxury cars. Okay. Uh, I guess these are supposed to match, but I don't think they have to necessarily. Um, then we have evidence list. We have like... Footprints, hair samples, incriminating objects, and trace elements. So this game has a little bit more in-depth than, you know, basic clue. But it still has some of the same type of things. Focus, stupid. 
Okay, my phone's wanting to be silly. Ooh, uh, footprints, we have designer shoes, police shoes, work boots, um, hair samples, wears toupee, canine partner, owns German Shepherd, dyes hair, incriminate objects like smokes, fine jewelry, chain smokes, chews gums, eats chocolate bars, um, eats energy bars, Trace elements are like gardening or plotting soil, fertilizer, reed killer, morphine, that kind of stuff. Scene of the crime locations. We have office closet, escort apartment, central park, or nightclub. So, uh, those are our crime scene notes. This game doesn't even look like it was played at all. Each player has a their own player board. Oh wait, never mind. These aren't player boards. This is the actual boards to the game. It would have been better. These sucky pieces of crap cardboard boards. Here is the crime scene. You get to put the location card, evidence card, and weapons cards here. Location, where it happened, evidence, weapons, what was used. Man, these are crummy. These are crappy. And here is the 27th Precinct. That is where the law and order detectives work. Uh, you get the location, evidence, and weapons discard. Oh my gosh. These, those cardboard boards are flimsy and crappy. You only have one cheap die. Not even a good quality die. That's one of the cheaper version dies. And a standard... Pawn, which really is kind of silly. I don't even know why you have a pawn uh, piece. You have uh, scene of the crime cards, murder, nightclub, and there's this little flavor text for every case. Murder, Central Park, murder, escorts apartment. Murder office closet Scales of justice murder office closet Okay, the scales of justice tells you I think who did it scales of justice murder Central Park Murder or nightclub. Not only do the Scales of Justice cards tell you who did it, they give you a little flavor text story about it. Um, Scales of Justice, Office Closet. They even tell you the evidence. Scales of Central Park. Uh, Scales of Justice, Murder, Escorts Apartment. Scales of Justice, Murder, Office Closet. So, Scales of Justice, Murder, Nightclub. So, um, Scales of Justice, Escort Department again. See the bottom here? It tells you which evidence, location, and weapon was used. Scales of Justice, Murder, Central Park. Scales of Justice, Murder, Nightclub. As you can tell, there's multiple... Scales of Justice cards while there's only four scenes. So there's like two Scales of Justice cards for every scene. So you don't know which one it'll be. But that really only leaves a limited option of about eight cases or eight, eight rounds of play. Which isn't great because once you've played all the game, you're like, um, we've played this game. We can't play it no more. You'll need expansion sets, which I actually think they made. We have locations. There's, you talk to the spouse. They all say you talk to the spouse. This one's a crooked cop. Plastic surgeon. Business partner. Another business partner. The gardener. Crooked Cub, ex-con doorman, gardener, 
Gardner. So that's what you learn from the location cards. You have the weapon cards, which again, ex-con, spells, Gardner, business partner, Gardner, spells, spells, cricket cup, cricket cup, business partner, plastic surgeon, Gardner, and then we got the evidence cards. Again, this game is cheesily, crappily done. Uh, X-Con, Dorman, Spells, Crooked Cop, Crooked Cop again, Placid Surgeon, Gardner, Crooked Cop again, Spells, Spells again, more Spells, more Gardeners, more Business Partners. So you'd shuffle these cards, basically, right? And you would have a certain amount of them, and uh, you try to use the information you have from the location weapons and evidence cards to figure out the murder and all that good junk. What do I think about the game? Well, the box is crummy, the pieces are crummy, the gameplay is only got a limited amount of times you could play it um and unlike clue you can't really keep playing it even though they give you all these detective sheets which they missed the opportunity to play put it front and back that's another problem by the time you finish playing all Eight, sixteen scenarios. You're probably going to use all these up, and the game is going to be uh, well, pff, not playable anymore because uh, it only has like the sixteen scenarios, basically. Um, it says two to four players, but look at all the space wasted. I mean, seriously, did they have to waste all this space? No, they did not. They literally wasted a crab load of space just for a game. And then they didn't even give me a good box. This box is like put the game in something else and throw it away type of box. That's kind of how this game is. It's it's really, really sucky. Um uh, it looks like it's from the classic TV series because it has some of the first Law & Order characters on it. Other than that, the game is crappy. I don't even think the theme... The, it's like a, a, a clue game, sort of, that they put a Law & Order theme on. And Clue does it even better than this, I think. Um, just from looking at it, I believe that Clue does it even better than this. If you're going to make a Law and Order themed Clue, just go, Hey, C Parker Brothers. Hey, Hasbro. Hey, Milton Bradley. People who created Clue. Uh, uh, can, can we license Clue out for a Law and Order version of Clue? There might actually be one now because USA Opsley makes all kinds of weird, different uh, Monopoly clues, lights, etc. Now, but basically, this game is trash. That's that's my opinion of this game is that it's trash. If you're not into the Law and Order franchise, and even if you are into the Law and Order franchise, you probably won't like this game. Because you'd probably rather sit down and actually watch an episode of the Law and Order. Duh. This game is a complete cash grab. Its components are crap. Its gameplay and sustainability is crap. And someone should have murdered this game before it even got put into production because it was that terrible. They basically... Cardinal, I mean, sometimes Cardinal makes good games, but Cardinal got a cheap license, got cheap license, made a cheap game, sold 
bunch of copies, made money, and didn't care. My friends got it for me. I think I've already had it before. I uh, know they don't pay eight dollars for it. I wouldn't have even paid a dollar for this. this. This is that crappy. It's not even worth a dollar. That's how crappy this game is. No offense to my friends. I love them. They know I like board games. But this game, the component quality makes it worth less than a dollar. The playability makes it worth less than a dollar. Even though this has everything. I mean, the best part of this part, particular one is that it has a full set of case notebooks. Because once those run out, once those run out, these games like this that have those case notebooks, if you don't laminate one so that you can keep a copy where you can, um, where you can, um, copy them at, like, the copy place, or you can laminate them and use a dry erase marker, is what some people do. Once you, once you run out of those case notebooks, uh, sheets that you write on, uh, the, the games throw away anyway because for the most part you can't do anything with it uh, but this game in case this if in the case of this game this game is like throw away to start with it doesn't even look like they decided to play it that's how terrible this game was they, somebody got the game for somebody who was a law and order fan and uh they said, oh, I know you, you like Law and Order here, and gave it to him as a gift or some crap. And it's been sitting in their freaking attic, garage, or whatever for like a hundred years. No, I'm just playing, not a hundred years, but a long time. And um, they finally was like cleaning up because of the coronavirus going on. Uh, and they ain't got nothing else to do because they got to stay home, so they might as well clean, right? Uh, and they decided, oh, I'm going to clean up. And then they had a yard sale, and it was like, Oh, uh, put this out. It must be going for a decent price online, but uh, I wouldn't recommend paying eight dollars a dollar. If you can't get this game for less than five bucks, do not bother. And that includes shipping, Shh. because it is that crappy. It probably sold originally for 20 bucks. I couldn't believe anybody would pay that much for this piece of crap. Uh, it probably, even $10 brand new, mint condition in box is too expensive. Hell, $5 mint condition, still in plastic, including shipping, would be the right price to get this game. Because its components suck. Shh. I doubt they paid a, so everything in here I doubt cost them over a dollar to produce it's that sucky it's even tearing up already look tearing up the box it's look bending breaking see bending breaking it's a terrible quality box uh, anyway Remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. And, uh, don't go out and actually murder somebody because murder is wrong. It's one of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not murder. Uh, just to let you know that. And, I did a long video over, um, uh, crappy game. Why? Because this game sucks! If, uh, I had a gavel like the Dallas Tower it is, I would have been like that. Like, you know, uh, see? Sucks! Anyway, that's it for that game.